When you walk in the room, Miss And you can't see nobody else I'm not the only one who feels The switch inside my body chair Welcome ladies and gentlemen to the LG Cup season 3. This is the PUBG Mobile Miner. We are into week number 6, day number 2 and we are in group D. Today is going to be an exciting, exciting group because guess what? We have royalty in the house. It is Team X who is going to be playing this uh, Miner and with that we have our regulars as well like team punks marvel hk so everyone will be excited to show their medal and that they can compete against teams of this caliber so it's not going to be really easy for team x over here nevertheless let's look at the flight path the flight path is going again this day today also is quite tilted towards the left towards west it's going from north to south no over opponent too far away milita milita power again too far away but you can drop towards George Pole, George Pole containers, George Pole, South George, North George. You can go to 70. You can see a team's going to 70. There are going to be teams who are going to drop to Rozok, School, Pochinki. And not going to be really easy for them to go. You can see uh, Team X, they are uh, planning to go to military base, right? And it looks like Wolves as well is wanting to go to military base. Uh, that's squad number 21, squad number 5. And on the other hand, we have squad number 17 go to Primo. Squad number 19, they are looking to farm towards Quarry. Then we have squad number 9 and 6 trying to make their way maybe towards Milta Milta Power. And on the other hand, we have squad number 16 and 14 playing it from Rose Hawk. Saying that. And we have, it uh, looks like squad number 9 and squad number 6 are already clashing. There is a knockdown coming already by Team Punk. And Vivek, he's down. Vivek needs to be revived. But it looks like Savez, he's going in for the flash. He looks at part. They get two knobs over here. Vivek, uh, they get the kill as well. And now it looks like uh, his teammate is just going to bail and run. They were trying to get the vehicle over here and run from here. Unfortunately, they got only one buggy. And... Team Punk going to capitalize on that, get that kill on to Vivek as well. Alright, looks like we're going to see more action. Squad number 9. I think they did end up losing uh, 2 or 3 players there early on. Uh, actually, 2 players up. We have Lord Bunny and 7259. Who is... Yeah, they took, they took the buggy and ran. They only found a buggy over there. Mm -hmm. While the other 2 members had to bear the brunt of that. Yeah. Let's quickly move... Over to squad number six. Yeah, squad number six. They have been looting over here pretty decently, so it's not going to be really difficult. And now they're going to gather the houses that are next to them. And associate. Let's see where the spread is. Yeah, let's Looks have a look at the uh, map right now. Uh, the circle, uh, pretty standard, is going to be uh, towards the center to western side uh, we pretty much have all the squads inside uh, except some of the uh, squads that have actually gone for military island which does include uh, uh, team x as well uh, so i think that's uh, 9 18 5 15 21 so that's a total of about six squads uh, squad number 15 of course already making that uh, rotate through the Eastern bridge and out towards Milta. I think they'll, they'll hang around the bridge there, continue looting away, and eventually make that transition inside. Squad number nine. Uh, 
they split up right now like you said i think that was primarily because one of the was was that one of the teams that did eventually yeah. find the buggy so they fought against squad number 6 squad number 6 went straight into the barn house right. squad number 9 were on the road looking for wickets they only found a buggy and that's where they got screwed uh, squad number 6 they picked up guns from the barn house and knocked two people down and got the kill maybe let's move over and yeah we have of course a team x again one of the teams that we want to talk about here today uh two players from seoul if i'm not mistaken the new player scout and who is their fourth player i think i see that's i guess that's paratosh paratosh uh, not really too familiar with what paratosh has been up to but yeah there has been quite a bit of speculation surrounding this team uh uh talk about uh, is mortal actually quitting for good is he actually going to make a comeback immediately and then of course uh, there was the thing with scout and now they've gotten themselves uh, a full locked roster uh, the idea is going to be of course to build that build towards being the best team uh, in india right now and i think that's going to take them some amount of grind yes they still have tier 1 players in but team chemistry our uh, team gelling is of course going to take that a little bit of time which is going to uh, i think they're going to be uh, the next coming month or so is going to be that trial for them if they can continue to stick through their differences work their way towards uh, getting to pretty much being uh, uh, i, I want to say immortal but uh, that i think this is too much pun Uh, uh, right there. What are your thoughts, John? Yeah, that is true. So now they are right now building the team, and like you, uh, like you said, they're grinding through all PMIT, and they're grinding through so many other tournaments that are happening, playing together. So right now, I think they would have built some kind of synergy, and ILG will be another test for them to see how that synergy works, because ILG is a very ruthless uh, format where you have to qualify. every game is a do or die game you there's no round which you can throw and over here that's going to be a really good test for team x to see if they will be able to do it or do they need to work on few of their flaws or that yeah i think like i said it, it is the perfect uh, trial period for them to try things out try and develop that team chemistry back up again uh, of course two of the four players are from the previous squad so it's not going to be as hard but uh, there is going to be that significant amount of work that you need to put in but uh, i think now if you're uh, some if you're a squad other than soul right you're thinking hey they probably gonna take that time getting strong again this is probably the time where some of these teams step up uh, start to get recognized uh, maybe even take the fight to uh, team x and maybe grab a cup a title or two so most of these teams are gonna use this time to try and build their portfolio but we're gonna see a bridge it camp looks, coming yeah, out there is one guy bridge camping alone itachi and looks like squad team x is making the way wait what itachi Yeah, he just he's just ducked down and he's like i don't want to take this fight yeah yeah no 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 not he's like i can't take it alone anyways so i rather you know just wait this out but i don't know i think ronak has spotted that and ronak is looking paritosh is also looking for the flush now yeah 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 ronak he's seen the vehicles and now he's he's looking for where the guy is in the in the water because each point counts they know the importance of each point so hey he's taking some fire yeah he's going to be taking in some fire here uh, both all of them are all set up on the other side and uh, uh, it it might look like team x might want to bridge camp over here the other side novo uh, the all girls team is in novo right now and they have to make the way through the bridge if the circle ends up shifting towards the north i mean we were uh, talking about this earlier and we were saying hey if we do get to see this it's going to be fun and it looks like we might get to see that a little earlier than we actually expected yeah it looks like squad number 15 now they are wanting to come and contest this they need to save their teammate over there and if you can see akshun he slowly making his way towards the bridge and yeah they've uh, they they were in a tussle uh, with squad number 6 uh, i believe that is team punk but uh, right now 
with the auction here as well uh they they would have got the info that hey there is a team bridge camping but how do you play this out uh they're not gonna have too much of an opportunity yes they'll have one maybe uh chance it's surprising uh team x there at the bridge but currently it looks like they're not even gonna be heading in that direction they're gonna get on their bikes and they're gonna leave they're like hey man you're on your own you find yourself a uh, boat and come join us a wee bit later but yeah but now the fun is going to be squad number 21 our all girls team are going to make their way towards that bridge and is squad number 5 going to be there for some time or are they also going to move out uh i think we'll have to wait and see how long they're going to stick around i mean circle is closing in so you maybe i think take the gamble this uh, is going to be fun this is going to be fun watch sherry just watch this they are up for a surprise they don't know that there is a team camping over there now see this is a different approach when soul used to play they love going towards novo uh -huh. okay uh, not novo they used to love going towards uh, this georgia pole containers right. that's soul's uh, you know go to place that's where they even got the chicken dinner in you know the land finals in berlin if i'm not mistaken right mm -hmm. and now they've changed the approach they're going towards military base and looks like squad number 21 are they going to go to the bridge no they're not <laughs> they're going to go away they're not going to take the bridge where uh, are they going to head to though i, I think maybe they look for a boat or something uh, what i uh, one of the things that of course you can do is there are two bridges you can always head over to the other bridge if uh, that is uh, route you want to take but right now uh, looking at the current bridge. circle position i think both of them are equally dangerous and it is a flurry of boats here you can might as well build an iron fleet from game of thrones right now and start barraging king's landing and that's my this be the case uh, right here as uh, it looks like team yeah x they're going to get onto the boat as well and team x is also going to leave so kind of anti climactic yeah, yeah. but anti yeah, yeah, climactic some action maybe, was like maybe fight for the next circle cuz uh, the circle is not too far away um the chances are both of them still are going to be on uh, pretty much the same side of the circle so uh, yeah, wait a second i want to head over and are they going to move have they spotted them on the boat look at itachi he's still swimming he's still swimming he's been swimming for a good part of 5 minutes and oh, itachi is probably going to see not only tx but there is also squad number 21 behind and he's probably going to get run over and there's another squad behind over there i can see yeah. it itachi look Oh, is this is this going to wing it through he's like yeah if they get spotted out the question is having some deep deep if, problem if they get <laughs> like, it looks like see they're camping towards the uh or oh, yeah you can see always there's someone spotted them moving they're firing shots and they're trying yes she's nancy they're going to blow the boat they're going to jump off that boat and you see tigress gets taken out and <laughs> scout blows that vehicle off and now uh, i'm guessing ronak also knows about this he's get, look at look at the birds eye view he has right now of all of them swimming around they be spotted they getting pulled down one player down oh and he goes down as well and it's just amisha alone she's being pinned now she's being spotted and ay 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 that just it just just went from uh, bat towards eye yeah, there you go they see her this blind sprays across ronak is actually not too far away i think one of the teammates has given away that position she's going to have to be pretty much under water she peeks her head out she's done for but she's taking damage and there it is the end of their grind in the ig cup yeah that was <laughs> unfortunate though but six. big shout big shout out to uh, all the girls uh, uh, who did take part here this it was short lived but we, it's not the last time we see them last time i think she they did play a three stack yeah, plus yeah. Uh, devil and they had a decent run there as well unfortunate i i do remember that fight as well they pretty much got sandwiched when they were on top of the hill uh, it came down to a 1v1 at the end i think that was uh, a devil see, who was Virat pretty low that spots the squad over there yeah there's uh, itachi is he still swimming I can see Itachi very low on health. 
so people are wondering i want to show you uh, the map oh they've come they have head towards squad number 15 and virat right, has hit the deck yeah he's hit the deck and we quickly move over we're going to see the nades being tossed in towards the auction and uh, what's i'm pretty sure they have pretty decent utility they did uh, get to loot quite a significant amount of time here and, uh, Oh, Ronan! Ronan? Ronan gets knocked down, and this is going to be exciting. Is Virat going to make the flush push? It looks like he's wanting to do that. Scout. Oh, that flash being used. Was it used to perfection? No, Scout. Now he's trying to shoot from the other side. They're going for a cover. Scout. He's going to bring his vehicle behind this time instead. I thought he's trying to find a different angle. Uh, is Virat going to go for the flush? Or Scout going to play from behind? Maybe they would want to hold one player behind. Ronak, the revive comes in. He's gonna throw the nade inside. He cooks the nade. Is it proper? Is it no, good? No, oh no, no, it's there. not. How about the second nade coming in? Does knock Ronak the second time around. That's gonna be his second knock. Oh, in. he throws the nade Nates. out. Oh, <laughs> it went out the other side. But uh, I think they're buying. They just basically. Itachi is right back now. from swimming, man. He yeah, swam and swam and he back just gets taken down. Paratosh finds him out in the open. They probably want to look to go for another day to in. And it just, I think it just barely clips away is there. It's going to use this time to bandage up Akshan behind. It's going to get rezzed back up by Virat. Uh, seven seconds, five seconds. As the smokes get deployed in, they're going to go charging through Paratosh. No pushes coming in just yet though. It's just TPPs all around. Scout. Finds another knock in from all the way behind him. Paratosh, he's just gonna pick up the UAZ. Where is he heading? What's the play here? They're gonna spread themselves out by the looks of things, and this is a decent decision. But that's a really good, a really good strategy, man. Yeah, Virat ends up going down as. It's well. only Itachi, the swimming master. Yeah, how is Itachi gonna work himself out of this? Shots being fired at Paratosh. He maybe has a small window, but Itachi ends up taking so much damage, and now they're all gonna come collapsing in. Two players out of the side. Paratosh already pre-firing through OAS has been spotted as well. Ronak seen, and now how does he play this? He's been jump spotted through the corner, pre-fired, taken down. Bye bye. Down goes squad number 15. Valiant effort there. Especially from, I don't even remember his name, the dude who just swam all the way for eternity. Itachi. <laughs> Itachi. Swam and swam and eventually joined up with the rest of his team. But now look at the circle. Shade, look at the shift of the circle. This time the circle more moving towards uh, Rozok, right? You can see there's Rozok and there's a lot of open fields. You know, it's all those uh, cliffs and those ridges towards Rozok, which is going to bring make it a very interesting uh, circuit to be in. Looks like squad number 18 is still in Pochinki, squad number 9. The remains of squad number 9 are hovering around over there. Squad number 16, squad number 11 and squad number 10 are in Rozok. And Team X is now making his way. They might want to go towards Pochinki because they are on a hot spree of getting a lot of kills over here. So they are prioritizing those skills and but some good play we were able to witness because of team x we saw how they repositioned themselves even though they were at a disadvantage the one man is not afraid of taking those risks and taking the vehicle for a different angle and that's what champion teams are made of and for those who are watching this should definitely you know take some cues from there and enjoy uh, learn something good and definitely we will see some more action going to come in this time looks like the the circle again has moved, moved way north towards rozok and towards water city yes it has let's move over to another squad where we've pretty much had this uh, i think teams standing standing off against each other forever we've had squad number 16 and squad number 11. uh they've been sitting here up at rozok I think for ever since the start and uh, these teams haven't really gotten into a duel. It's been a slow, methodical play. Uh, Johnny's pretty much looking at a drop where I think it's already been looted up. Pretty cutthroat, man. This is a ruthless server in. And looks like Team XFR as well as... Uh, Octane X 
Not really looking to jump in just yet into a fight. But looks like Team X have repositioned themselves towards Watertown. And maybe they are directly heading into Watertown. They might find squad number 13 over there. And that's going to be really interesting to watch this engagement because there's squad number 7 on their right. Scout. He's trying to scout and see if there are people around. He's taking the uh, watchtower from top. And this is actually quite an interesting watchtower. But if you get knocked down from here, you're going to be in big trouble. So, uh, Scout OP, reposition himself, trying to get some cues, just to see. His weapon choice is very interesting. He's taking the M164 and he's taking the barrel. So, yeah, the weapon choices depends on the players, but let's look at, is he going to spot anyone? There's squad number 13 towards his left in Watertown and there's squad number 7 towards the right. And they are taking cover of that rock over there, and they're not gonna, pretty much not wanting to engage as of now. Looking at Scout, he sees the drop ahead. Are they more going to make that play towards the drop? Yeah, for viewers who are tuning in, don't worry, we, we are aware of the fact that it is uh, framing a little so we're gonna go ahead and uh, fix that post this game but for now we've I think found ourselves a nice uh, middle ground for now though uh, scout is up on the high ground and you see squad number 18 coming in shots being fired at the dark here and they're gonna have to get off here but they have a very nice little ridge there to work with And they are, they're out in the open and they're all going to get slaughtered up. One knock coming in initially and I think this is the time they go for the push. They have a nice little angle on the side here as Athena goes down as well. Two players down on team 18 and they're just losing players one by one. And he's fought another in Arjuna who's pretty low as well now. He needs to go for the res and they're trying to crawl away. There is no... I there's no smokes coming in as well. So they're trying- But look at Oasis. Oasis repositioning himself behind. Yeah. Oasis. He's just raining in from behind as well. Smokes eventually go down and they're trying to drive away. They've left two of the players behind. Arjuna is still alive. There is one player who's knocked up, but they've set up shop on the left side. Arjuna just takes some shot through the smoke and he's down to about 40% health. And this is just random sprays through the smoke. I have absolutely no idea where the players are. But uh, squad number 18, they've left themselves in a pickle. Are they going to be able to work their way out of the squad? They've got two players on the right-hand side. But now squad number 9, Lord Bunny, is coming there as well. On the far side. And... Yeah, I think one of the players from squad 9 there eventually... Uh, drives away. He does not hang around too long, but this is problematic to say the least. Yeah, they get both the players knocked in. It should be the flush throughout as well, uh, but DMG have done good. They've, they split up their, their split second decision to actually leave the two players behind and make a play. It's pretty much going to keep uh, their team in this match, but as I say that, do see action happening elsewhere. Actually, let's have a look at the map and where the uh, circle currently is. Uh, it is going to be the Rozok circle, but uh, there is parts of uh, the water in and around as well. So, and this big clutter of squads below. We have squads 5, 13, 20, 18, and 9. And squad number 9 actually just drove into the middle of everybody here. Bunny is surrounded from all directions and it is going to be almost a miracle if he does actually survive through all of this of course i think he's only uh, too strong in he's got one teammate only but there is going to be a point of time where everybody is looking at him from all directions and that is when all hell is gonna break loose for now though we're gonna stick with octane x who has vision onto squad number eight. Shots to be fired. There's a lot of smokes down, but 
not enough cover though for HK. This again, I, I remember one of the, uh, the this is one of the squads that has played previously as well. And Mortal gets knocked down by Zeus. They're trying for the flushes through the smoke. And I think one of the players does drop preload. That is Immortal. And there's one player up on the far side that is Murli Raman. I'm getting the project right. Vishal's just gonna run away. <laughs> he decides to go prone. But no, nope, that's not gonna work. You see his corpse just flinging back down. He's not. But uh, they do manage to get the res off onto the other two players. Also, three players still in the action. But they've used up all utility. They've got nowhere to go. They either take this long range, uh, low percentage fight. Or they just get gunned down. One by one. Two players down. Murti Maran's also gonna go charging down. He actually manages to keep himself alive. I think, no, that is it. That's the squad wipe. Uh, pretty much shows, I think, a good demonstration of why utility is so important is the fact that uh, at the end, that is pretty much the difference between win and loss. You can, you can of course, buy time by actually tossing that utility and waiting for that because the circle so small uh you can easily get third party fourth party teams are always going to be looking to take these fights take these engages that's where they're going to rack up kids and if you delay long enough i think you're good to go and hold that thought to that most squads are gonna make this rotate in to this final few so 32 stitches is in as well they're taking up a fight on the far side tc has gotten into a fight on the uh, outskirts as well off the circle we see a couple of vehicles in i think they've got wishes who's already uh, taken a knock in but it's too far away what do you do you do you take the buggy and move out go for that hail mary res play or i think you cut your loss and move away i think at this point of time you just move on you need to get to that top five position top four position to be able to qualify and as of now, I see this huge clutter of teams up at Rawzog and we see blood being spilt. DMG Kratos manages to hold on, but he's got squads all around him. 12 squads, 34 players alive. Such a small circle, John. Yes, indeed. Such a small circle and people are now moving in towards the fight. And Yeah, just to give you an aerial view, of how the teams are spread, there you go. That is it. You have uh, TX on the far side. We have the single survival bunny over there. And then we have squad number 13 on the east. east. Far east, you have squad 17. Uh, up in the middle, you have 18 and 16 right next to each other. They have squad 20 and there's 19 on the far side. 32 stitches looking to go up against uh, one of the players from squad number 20. That is Winnie who's ended up taking massive amounts of damage and he's getting shot from behind as squad number 11 is just gonna go charging through. They've set up shop next to 32 stitches. This may be the perfect uh, third party that they were waiting for. Hunter's going for the spray up against uh, squad 10 here. He spots on two players at least inside the garage. Walks out into the open, very risky play in, but it pays off at that point of time. He gets the first knock in. More teammates in around, they're dancing around. Can he get the knock? No, he can't. He eventually will go down. Half HP onto King. King goes for the flush and they will get the kills in. Squad number 11, they do hold on and did they, yeah, they, they end up losing Hunter there who did get fully flushed back down, but that's a big fight, but it's not the time to relax. There's just way too many squads around and they probably might be looking to get into another fight here as we see squad number 19 on the far side. They've dropped the smokes and I think this is going to be another fight that squad 11 are going to be forced into Johnny. Yes, indeed. Squad number 11 are going to be forced into an epic battle. And now this is, you know, an, a very anticlimactic uh, circle because Watertown, there's so much water, water that you have to roam, uh, maneuver around. And I mean, this is, what, this is one of the... Also, there's just so much cover, right, in these buildings. That is something uh, squads hate about Weekendy is the fact that the circle shift sometimes just happens into the city where... Uh, it is just so hard to eventually uh, tactically look to maneuver in for a squad because you're gonna have to worry about third partying. You're also worrying about people hiding in the corners. And as I talk about hiding, uh, Winnie is gonna be spotted, uh, taken down. So I think that was the last remaining player from that squad. Was it squad, squad 20? I think they have one more player right in the middle. Hulk is gonna be rezzed back up. And let's look back at the circle. The circle's gonna move towards the western side and it's still gonna contain Watertown. 
But I think some of these players are going to be forced to reposition and that is when we're going to see some fights, shots fired on the far side as we do see the uh, push coming through here. Wishes ends up getting knocked down into the water. They've charged back down and Kendrick is looking for the charge through. He's taking TPP right now. He decides to move into the house and he just gets slaughtered back down. On the far side, squad 11. They've lost one of the players. There's a knock that has come in on the far side. Deepu is in fact the last man up right now. Two of his teammates have actually charged onto the opposite side of the road. They've taken a knockdown. He's trying to desperately drop, drop the smokes in, try and go for the res, but I think that opportunity is not gonna come by. Always spotted out, but they're not still, he's not fully committing into this. He knows for a fact, he's, this is probably the last chance for squad 11 is to use these knocked players as bait and for him to pick these isolated dudes. But uh, right now, TX is not giving a single ounce of opportunity. Deepu's been spotted as well as Scout. Rounds out into the open. Ghoul eventually will bleed out. And Octane X, they've been pinned into the corner. There is a sufficient amount of distance that uh, squad 5 needs to move back to. They're not in the circle. Scout OP definitely isn't. But on the far side, Lord Bunny is taking some damage. Orion, I think, is also going for some shots there through the windows. But you did talk about the fact that you actually move so slow through the water and all these people who are used to rotating out late at the end, I think that is the danger that they're going to be facing. And MR. I think they found squad number six here. Punk is already knocked down. He's trying to go for the flush there over the ridge. He's not going to be able to find it. The compound wall itself acting as a barrier there for uh, squad six. Punk Himan is also there. And he, he jumps over. What? Why would he do that? He just crossed over to the other side. But uh, Punk Himan is actually going to drop the smokes. He's taking in some damage as well and should eventually end up going down. Yeah, that is Smith there who's gotten the full cleanup as I think still TX top four. 22 kills. I mean, it looks as if they're playing a pub over here. 22 kills. 22 kills and they're not done just yet. They're lining up the needs. They know exactly. Oh, round up. It's barely survives. I think he got a little too frisky there and <laughs> almost ends up getting knocked down. We're going to move over to Scout OP who has a different angle uh, that he's holding here. He's uh, got Smith as well as uh, Warhawk in his uh, radar. Smokes go down and I think this is go this is going to give him an opportunity. Come to the system. He spots Smith out instant fire back and Smith drops to about 70% health. He's going to continue charging up here. He's, I think he's going to go for the charge into the building. There's no reason why he wouldn't do so. Putting his ground, buying space, Rana goes down, and there's the charge up across, pre fires through the corner. He's trying to use the legend, not really enough. He gets the kill regardless. A quick flush, instant flush. Spots an Probably gonna end up going down as always finds him. And now, it is Kratos. Look at the corner he spawned himself. He's like, yep. It's John Cena right now. He's like, you don't see me. Now, nothing to do here. You don't need to see that. Move on. Squad 20 has one player up as well. That's Reload. I see the two. And look at them move together. They know where Reload is. Reload. Hello. He's past the first player. Can I get the first dog? No. It is. They're going to be able to crouch down and... Is this it? I think it is it. Yeah. It's... I mean... Dominating sh performance. Uh, we were talking about this. I think was was this yesterday that we talked about uh, the first player to get double digit kills in ILG season three. Well, we have two now. Rana joins that list as well. And quick math up: twenty seven kill chicken dinner. They got, I think, half the server 
right there. And they played so aggressively. They took their fights. They were not afraid of taking their fights because they have, you know, built that synergy with the team. War, which person has to do what? Who's going to be the entry fragger? Who's going to be the lurker? Who's going to move aside when you know required? And so I think I, I, I think that is the uh, loser player. They moved so confidently. They took every single fight their way. You usually, see, you usually see these matches. You're like, hey, you gotta make top four. So. I guess I'm going to play it a little easy. Uh, we let the teams fight each other out. We find ourselves a nice compound to hold. Uh, get ourselves into that top five position. And that is when we are going to look to take these fights. But this wasn't the case. This is a case where they took every single one of those fights. And they did get one or two players knocked here and there. But in the grand scheme of things, it didn't really matter. They were... Absolutely flawless and well-deserved chicken dinner. They move on now to the uh, semi-finals that will happen on Thursday. Let's talk about the other teams. The team DMG, three kills, uh, came in in second position. Is uh, who is that player there at the end? It was uh, Athena, right? They're just hiding. There was the one more team. There was one more team that had ten kills. Uh, I'm not uh, let's quickly look through the scorecard to see if we can uh, kind of find them. Uh, Octane. Octane. Yeah, there they are. Octane X, tenth position though. Uh, and they've come up with 12 kits. So, we're going to have to wait and see how far that's going to spring them up. Because uh, we do have Team Punk with 6th position with 4 kills. Uh, 4 kills uh, on uh, uh, Marvel as well. Uh, 2 kills on MR. So, we'll have to wait and see if that actually propels them into that top 4 position. But, uh, it was an exciting game. Uh, we will take a quick commercial break. We will be back with the scorecard as uh, we build things up for uh, Group E, I believe, that's coming up next. Shout out to the sponsors, title sponsor Alienware, powered by Logitech G, associate sponsors Next Time Multimedia and Kaspersky, GP partner Galax, energy drink partner Monster Energy, the Shades Layer, as well as Flash. We will be back in just a bit.
When you walk in the room, Miss And you can't see nobody else I'm not the only one who feels The switch inside my body chair Oh, I just want you to myself 
again, not a single tear on my face. Pockets overflowing with what I need today. Doesn't mean that it's easy and it isn't always great, but it's all good. It's all good. It's all good, it's all good, it's all good. The picture isn't perfect, the road ain't always straight. It gets a little crazy, and you know sometimes we need a break.
Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the IG Cup Season 3 PUBG Minor. This is week number 6, game number E. We are Tuesday into the second game, and we did see an amazing first map, and we saw some amazing plays coming in by a lot of teams. This time, again, <clears throat> we are back in that same drill. Again, we have Pixel playing again. We have Team OP playing again, and a lot of familiar faces. The flight path moving from east to west, uh, South Island not easily accessible, but yes, definitely they can take uh, vehicles and move over there. Looks like uh, Rip Squad is planning to move maybe towards uh, military base or Novo. Mm -hmm. And there is one squad who's already made their way towards military power. You can see people move. Pixel is moving towards George, North George. And no one's as of now gone to containers. Yeah, it's going to be a pretty nice spread coming across. I think uh, North George is going to see a couple of squads that will be heading in this general direction. Uh, we have Pixel Frost uh, making his way in along with that. Uh, I think we have squad number six in the distance. We have uh, Para, Ranger, and others. Uh, Johnny, what are we seeing uh, with squad number nine? Yeah, we're seeing squad number nine. He's waiting for his teammates to come and pick him up and so that they can go towards military base or Novo. But so he's just picking up as much loot as he can around. He's already got an AK and that UMP. And he also finds a vehicle for himself. So he's just going to take that vehicle and maybe move himself. He does not require his teammates. They find a UAZ as well. All right. <coughs> Let's uh, talk a little bit about the circle. And look where it's headed. It's a military It's a mill base circle. circle. Yeah. yeah, it's a military island circle. And the re there is this huge <laughs> plethora of squads that is actually dropped towards the northern side. Many of them who have to make long rotates. Even if you're at Georgiopole, that's a fair bit of distance that you need to cover. To not just make it into the first zone. Uh, if you're uh, looking to uh, make a set up shop uh, for... The final few phases coming through, you're going to have to make your way into Military Island. So, I think there's going to be a lot of squads. In fact, squad number 9 was up at farm. Yeah. They just got up and left as soon as that first circle revealed itself. Uh, you already see them heading in towards uh, Novo. Novo uh, yeah. Lot of the en entire uh, Nova is going to be to themselves to loot in the surrounding areas as well. And I do believe most of these squads are not going to stick around for too long. They're going to find those vehicles, move out early, either into Military Island or at least uh, set up for that uh, bridge camp at one of the two bridges journey. Yeah, and look at the spread. They've literally spread out on the entirety of Nova. One person is looking at all the buildings. The other person is looking at containers. So they spread out. They're going to enjoy the loot over there. And I don't know if they're going to either bridge camp. That could be a very interesting idea. A lot of teams are going to try and make their way towards uh, Military Island via boats. We saw in the last map, people tried it. But it did not work out. Because there was Team X who was on the beach hunting people around who were taking boats over there. Mm -hmm. And of course, uh, apologies to the viewers out there. I know for a fact we did face uh, some uh, issues there. It wasn't delay, but it was in fact the uh, NDI plugin on one of the observer PCs that was causing the issue. Uh, and it wasn't really lag. So uh, we've, we've kind of fixed that uh, right now. Um, we see uh, Ares is, uh, pretty much partying all, around, all along. Uh, he's got the uh, warehouses looted up. Decent loot. Just the level 1s though. Uh, squad 16. That is a team... Team RZ. Squad number 16. And we're looking at Team RZ. They've taken Rozok entirely. And they've also got quite comfortable loot over there. They're not going to take any aggressive fights as of now because there's no one to you know contest looking at that aries gora squad number 19 they're looting hospital 
and now slowly uh, but surely especially team that the team that is in Zarki this squad number 21 who's in Zarki they need to quickly loot and make their way towards uh, mill base island because it's going to be really far for them Zarki not a heavy loot place definitely it's a place where there is uh, less loot medium loot I must say you will still get decent stuff but uh, you might not get all the attachments and the you might not get that many sniper rifles in this area but yeah it's less engagement so they're not going to worry about a team landing in Zarki but if you have to move from Zarki to military base there's a lot a lot of place to cover yeah also um, <coughs> a quick update to uh, uh, the viewers who are watching who are here uh, for Team X, the supporters, they will be back again on Thursday. I think they will be playing in the uh, first or second semi final. So, um, and it's going to be a, a it's, it, yeah, it, it's going to be a two round uh, match wherein round one is going to be played on Erangel, a round two on Miramar. So, there's going to be two semi finals played on that day starting at 6 pm all the way till 10 pm. And on Friday, we will have basically the top 16 of the 32 squads from Thursday play a three-map grand finals. Wherein we will have the Erangel, Miramar, Erangel uh, played out. It's going to be amazing. It's gonna I be absolutely can't wait for it. Uh, but more on that maybe a little later. We're going to jump back into this and probably have a look at how the circle has how the teams have been adjusting to the circle uh, we see already squad the eight who's making their way through the bridge 19 uh, mystic op is already inside squad number 20 of course uh, is still pretty much already inside the circle up at milta power i think uh, they just need to make a short rotate through uh, they are one of the squads is coming in very late though so um I think it's decision time whether you want to take that closest bridge or you want to rotate all the way across and go for the bridge on the far side. Uh, only time will tell. For now though, we have quite a bit of uh, vehicles uh, making their way through. We have squad 5, squad 19, squad 7, squad 11, squad 16. Uh, almost all of them already on the uh, rotate through into the zone. Uh, one of them, of course, is squad number seven, the one that uh, is on uh, Johnny's window right now. As uh, I think they've stopped for a second. They do have that 2 1 split where uh, they have, uh, who is it, Rocker, who is leading the pack. So, again, this reduces the risk, the risk of yeah if someone's bridge camping. If someone's bridge camping, you, you give Rocker away to the gods. He's provided the info and the rest of the three players can adjust accordingly so yeah you see you can see pixel is waiting it out till raka crosses completely mm -hmm. and now they're like the coast is clear my friend let's go but looks like squad number five also is going to be very close and let's look what the next drop brings us yeah the, the drop is in the ocean it's in the ocean it's going to be a mark 14 uh, 762 uh ar suppressor uh, we have the uh, level 3 west helmet and backpack so but it is in the water and it is near the military island so uh, i don't really think there's gonna be uh, anyone heading for this anytime soon maybe one of the squads who's coming in very late who's decided hey we are not gonna take the uh, bridges we're gonna take the boats instead i think it's probably uh, one of those squads who might eventually pick this up squad five it looks like all the squads are you know taking yeah they're gonna the same approach every single one of them is gonna do this they're gonna but wait you know at the, the bridge. funny part is if there's a look at squad number 19 what if squad number five had waited a little more and squad number 19 came from behind it, it, it is just a question of timing right yeah. it's, uh, who eventually makes that mistake you would have had 10 squads who's checked it and gone 11th squad bridge camps and the 12th squad decides hey maybe just maybe we don't have to check this and that is all the difference there is but probably between qualifying and get eliminated here today especially since this is a one round map for all the people out there and wondering how uh, is this tournament format actually planned out so as i say that though we're going to quickly uh, move over to the other side 
I just been walks on there. He gets slaughtered one by one. They run into Bacha. Bacha releases a flurry of bullets there. Senpai is gonna get pretty low as well, but he does knock down Thanos and Bacha. Quick reposition. Oh, he spots the player out in the corner. There's Luna out in the open. He's eventually gonna go down. Senpai finds two. And it's, I think, just one player up there who's alive. They're gonna go for the flushes. They clean them up. And uh, what was that? Was it two players or was it three? Two players. Two, two players, players on a bike. All right. Two players on the bike do get dealt up with. <laughs> and uh, let's move over to their teammates. Electro as well as Bunny. They did make it into Military Island, so I guess that's a small success, but they're gonna lose two players very early on. Uh, let's move over to Squad 17, who's also crossing the bridge right now. And yeah, this, this again, a squad that gives no two hoots, right? They're just gonna go charging through and they're like, yeah, we don't really care. We're gonna move in, but they're gonna move into Fire, not a, not a full four-man squad. They just, they've just been recovering from. But they're going to take the fight. The teammates. It looks like they're going to take the fight. They stopped the vehicle for, at the side, and now they are trying to see in which compound a squad number it is. Yeah, I think they're trying to. They did hear the uh, shots go off there, but uh, they're not really sure of. Uh, where they were getting shot at so they're probably going to spend maybe a couple of moments here uh, to see if he can spot if not uh, i don't see them hanging around too long this is they just way too exposed here they, from multiple angles and i think they've got to find themselves a better vantage point to hold inside the uh, military island for these uh, upcoming phases johnny yes indeed and for all of those all for everyone who's just tuned into the stream, this is the second game of today. Yeah, so we, let's give them, uh, to the viewers out there who are, who are tuning into ILG Season 3 for the first time, here's a quick breakdown of how things uh, work through the week. Uh, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, we have a total of eight qualifier games, three on Monday, three on Tuesday, two on Wednesday, uh, eight different groups of uh, 16 to 17 squads each. Top four from each of these one round qualifier games move on uh, to that semi-finals, which basically have 32 squads for the Thursday. We have them split into two groups, group A, group B. We have two semi-finals played out. Top eight from each of those semi-finals move on to the grand finals on Friday, where the top two teams not only qualify to the online playoffs that will happen in January, but First place walks away with 20,000 rupees, second place with 5,000 rupees. So, a lot on the line. A total cash prize of 10 lakhs is on the line, 4 lakhs for the initial qualifiers. And then, of course, once we complete up the online playoffs on in January, we have that 16 team LAN that will happen in February, the f grand finale of ILG Cup Season 3, where there will be 6 lakhs on the line. In that grand finale alone, I'm super hyped to see some of these top squads here. We've have we've had God's Reign, Global Esports, Umamba, and now today we've had Team X, uh, and we've had squads who have been trying since minor one as well. The dedication we've had MYM and others who've had fantastic performances, but unfortunately they've been so close yet so far, uh, sort of a story. And all of that is, of course, uh, gonna change as we quickly move over and have a look at the circle. The circle has completely now moved into the military island uh, towards the western side. It, it does not encompass uh, Novo anymore. Uh, there's still a fair bit of squads who need to rotate in. We have uh, squad 18, we have 11, uh, 13 still making their way in. On the western side, we have 21, 19, 5, all set up shop. South, we have 12 and 7. Center inside military base is, of course, uh, Bope. 17 and 9, who have set up shop towards uh, the eastern side and towards the northern side. We have squad 16 and 20, who's making their way through the boat. What's happening with squad 6, Johnny? Yeah, squad number 6. Uh, there was squad number 18 right next to them near the bridge, but now 18 is planning to cross the bridge over there. So... <clears throat> Alright, we're gonna have a 
breach here. Squad number seven going up against squad number 12. Quick three fires across Shadow. Unfortunately, can't find the first shot. And we have uh, squad 12 already moving into the building and looking for more. Champ is in. Champ hears a lot of footsteps on the far side. Racker and others uh, waiting on the outside of the building behind. So they're going for the loop around and two players right on the side. Lots of damage done in already. The first knock comes through. Racker continues to push through. Now oh, the both gonna end up lining up one by one. They both go down. And with that, it I, I think they've got it's a pretty sticky situation right now. It's all gonna come down to Prajeev and he fights it. It this is the beauty again. We saw Team X do this the last time around as well. Move one of the players. Completely, completely flanking flank, white, yeah, yeah. right? They did not see Prajiv coming through. This should have been done and dusted. Squad seven down for the count. But unfortunately, uh, for their opponents, uh, squad 12, they did not see that push coming through. And that was pretty much it. And meanwhile, on the other side, we see uh, squad number 21 going at it. They're going to find... A four-man kill. It was, in fact, the boat coming through. We were talking about squad number 20. We're making their way on board. That is uh, Royal Kings. Are going to get a Royal Salute sent back to the uh, lobby there. The boat going off. And the Shadow. Two kills in the back. Okay, so there wasn't really a four-man squad. Uh, so it was just the two players. Regardless, every single point counts. 13 teams alive. Top four goes through. 40 players in the server. Who's taking it, Johnny? Yes, right now I can't pinpoint on any specific team, but anything can happen. Yeah, and there's a beautiful spread coming out as well inside that military island, right? Uh, let's move over and check out squad number six, I believe. Yeah, we have Para SF, who's looking to make his way into the zone, but there's squad, I believe, 18. That is not too far away from their current location. So yeah, and you, you, and can, with see, the you can see Desmond. He has a view of them. And he's trying to... I don't know. What is he trying to do over there? He, he can't really reveal himself, right? He's just going to wait his time. And we have seen teams do this previously as well. Uh, you just follow a squad f far from behind. You take that damage. You just heal up. He does have two first aids, uh, four boosters. So, um, again, pretty... Uh, no, I'm not sure of whether he'll be able to uh, make oh, it. Distance. He, he goes for the shot. And with that though, he's given away his position. He's taken uh, some damage himself. And I think now he's uh, put himself between... Uh, uh, he's put himself in a very hard place. And we have a para who's also looking behind Desmond now. He's got himself a vehicle, but I, I think he's got no... Uh, alternatives he's gonna have to take that car and he's gonna have to make it through the bridge and just hope to god there's no one who's uh, holding this very late making that transition through is he gonna be able to get there is he gonna be able to safely make it there is of course uh, right now no one bridge camping uh, so he should be able to make it into the zone nice and safe He's going to park at the corner, clear out, uh, I guess, the bridge, and then make the move in. Meanwhile, let's move over. We see squad number seven. Um, I think they're also uh, setting up here. Quick <coughs> compound towards the far side, but to see the vehicle up in the far corner there. And we also see a knock coming in. GLT is looking to get into some action. That is squad five, squad seven. Shots being fired at squad 20 as well. As Racker just unleashes a ray of bullets in. Let's move over. Squad 11. Only one person alive in squad number 11. And there's three people in squad number 5. And Daddy, he's already got a view of where those three are. Mm -hmm. He might just want to, you know, tuck his tail and run from here. I, I don't think there is running away from this. Uh, you've got to take this fight, but you've got to make it a smart fight. You've got to have to uh, bring it down to individual duels. You've... You go to take that a 1v3 spray fight, you're never going to come out on top. And we're at a situation where there's still 13 squads alive. He needs to get to that top 5 situation. He needs to rack up kills as well. It's only one kill on his team. So, facing elimination, uh, 
looks like he's going to take your option out. He's going to run away. But I would have preferred for him to take this fight. I think because that- if he has to come in the top four, he right now has no other choice. It's not going to be an easy battle against those three, but the odds are against him. So he'd rather go for the position points. All right, let's move over as we see TSD, TS Dark is going to get knocked down from I believe that was squad number twenty one. A uh, quick knock and SF quick reposition back out. He's looking to get to the uh, top of the hill. No worry, that's that's a uh, pretty standard uh, you observer mod that we usually get. Uh, let's move over. A uh, beast boy. What's happening with squad 20, Johnny? Yes, yeah, squad number 20 has spotted squad number 5 and now they're just trying to play it off this race. They want to climb on top, but they know squad number 5 is right next to them. So they do not know whether to take this engagement or whether to wait for them to leave because they are on the edge of the circle and they are pretty safe because of that. All right. Uh, <clears throat> want to quickly uh, change over to squad number 21. That is TS Shadow as, okay, GLT. I think they're gonna get a knock onto. There was Cha Cha, I guess. Is the immediate res coming off on the far side, and they, now they gotta be wary about Squad Five's positioning. And Squad Number Twenty One also under fire. Yeah, <laughs> it's Shadow running out into the open. The circles pushing in as well, and he's gonna be just barely inside the zone. But look at his teammates behind. This is a, one of his teammates, Cobra, has gotten knocked down. How are they going to make their way into this? I see GLT get the full uh, wipeout as well. So squad number five will continue to march ahead strong. And uh, let's see how he's going to work his way out of this. I want to quickly look over at Desmond as well. He's the last remaining player from squad number 18. Not really got the uh, best of options there. I think he's just going to buy his time. Let's look, move over to that squad. He's looking at squad number 16. Who's up? Uh, up against squad 6. He sees Ranger crossing over. We have Shadow on the far side. And Sahil. Just TPP right now. They're going to pick the vehicle. Run away. Shots making fire. And they're going to lose one. One player just goes instant getting flinged down. And they're going to drive all the way and across. The they've set up jump right here. Sahil pushing up ahead as well. They've pinned. They've got nowhere to go. Batman is down as well. It's all down to HMK. HMK, how long can he hold? He sees the player coming through. Goes for the big free fire. Through. Not enough. Sumit is there as well for the trade. They're going to find the kill. And that is going to be squad number 16. Finding the white, but they're not done just yet. But look at this. Squad 21 on the far side. They're waiting up for another fight coming through. Squad 7 going up against the squad. Shots coming in into the smoke. Pixel does have that uh, cover of the smoke, but distance is bare minimum. Prajeev needs to find a way back into this fight here for squad 7. He's got a nice little uh, room to work with there, taking quick TPPs. But uh, Ironhead, what's he working with? He's working with the DP. And there's. No, he has only 19 bandages. Fortunately for them, they are already inside the circle. So they don't need really need to uh, rotate too far ahead to make it into the zone. But uh, I think this is going to be a game of cat and mouse here. There's no players behind. So they can pretty much look and uh, tunnel vision themselves into this exact same duel. And let me switch over and see what else is happening around see squad number nine on foot is also going to be looking to get into some action here uh, squad five has been spotted glt they've looked anything but deadly as i say that ryan they're going to the, drop going... what's happening with rahul rahul unfortunately couldn't trade this is getting rough we have wishu versus rahul charge coming through they have the angles, but they're getting third party across. There are more squads who are going to be coming into this direction. They park the vehicle out in the open and they're getting shot at by Wishu. Wishu, fortunately, 
are unfortunate. It doesn't have any cards. It's just going to blow up the vehicle. And we have Daddy getting knocked down on the far side. Looks like Bacha is going to find Joker up as well. Squad 5. What's the play? They're going to uh, reposition back themselves. Back up. And they see 8. What's <laughs> going through there? Sharply fired in the general direction. And look at Rip Squad Rocker. Just a second. He's still shooting up at the uh, UAZ. There's absolutely no one there. They will get the flush out. But move over. Squad 8. Bow has been spotted by Rahul. He's up in the uh, grass there. Oh, he's going to get shot back at. And uh, Rahul needs to fall back. The entirety of Squad 8 is standing back in his general direction. He's got a Dacia to work with. But you don't really want to be going prone right next to the Dacia. Which can be completely blown up with four guns facing in that direction. But I uh, don't really see him uh, having too much of an option here. They, they're in fact going to be uh, a pickup vehicle coming in. I think he knows of where. Squad number 7 is playing from Raka. Has a view onto squad 13. Smokes do go down when he's shooting in through the smokes. Bit of damage done in as well. And... Yep. Let me quickly look over and see how the circle is uh, looking like. It's a circle inside oh, they're, they're, the open. They're now making cover for themselves. They're bursting the vehicle and be like, okay, let's just you know, yeah. make good cover for ourselves over here. So right now, most of the squads are already in. It's just squad 17, squad 21, and squad 18 that need to make their way into this. They've used up the Dacia plus the UAZ. They're using the rock as well as cover. They've got themselves a pseudo barrier of sorts in front of them. And uh, that's more squad 13. What they're up to, I think they're right now. Oh, he spots Harsh and Harsh. Harsh, gets yeah, Harsh gets knocked down, but that was Gen X Joker. Uh, he's not got too much cover to work with either. It's one UAZ, one visible. buggy. Yeah, his head, he's pretty much way exposed. His teammates actually got knocked down as well, MOB. So he's going to drop the smoke, go for the res. And I think this is going to buy time for GLP to push in if they want to into this direction. They're probably looking at the scope and they're thinking, hey, couple of these squads might not be as healthy as possible and if they can TPP into this, maybe even walk away with a kill or two, it's going to be massive. But uh, as of now, it's 7 versus 13, GLT finds oh, 2. Yeah, Ooh, Watch Gen Martin. X is going to get knocked down. Rocker goes huge there, finds 2 and it's all going to be down to MOB. He's in the smoke. What can he do? He's going to have to eventually go for this res play. Will he find it? Will he not? Do stick around. Let's have a look at the aerial view of uh, what's happening here. We have squad 5 on the far side. They're going to take a couple of moments to quickly heal back up. Squad 16 smack bang in the middle of absolutely no freaking where. Knocks, knocks, knocks. Where they're, where's their teammate? The two players here, they do get uh, Rockeye healed up. So that was eventually all down to... Uh, it was an RZ Akai only to pick them all up, but they're still gonna continue to remain four strong. They have a decent amount of utility, so you should be able to hold on to this. Squad number nine have been going up against, uh, I believe, squad number five for quite some bit of time. They even ended up taking a couple of knocks. I think that was one of the first fights we did witness inside uh, Military Island. And uh, surprised that bo both those squads are actually still four strong, but uh, they've got decent cover. They've got a lot of. Uh, uh, Aeroplanes to work with there, and uh, Frost, uh, look at his uh, I think it's armor, aeroplanes. it's like completely so bust. Much, these aeroplanes, there's so much gaps in between which you can exploit. It's all about knowing which aeroplane to play around. And look at this, such a tight circle, we have still 18 players alive. 18 players, people. And they're all pretty much in kissing distance of each other. Uh, there's those Desmond who's all alone. Like they're Lone Ranger, they come at me right in the middle of the circle. Like, don't mind me, you can just keep fighting each other. Uh, I will just snoop in and try and take that top four position and get my team qualified over for that semi finals. Will that dream be a reality? Chances are very, very slim. But uh, squad seven, as of now, all prone up. Uh, they need to cross the street. I think that is where the problem is going to be. The circle right now is just about on the other side. Squad 16 needs to eventually make that move in. So does squad number 18. Both of them are actually pretty far away from where the zone currently is. Sumit is going to go for the push. And Desmond, this is the man I'm going to look at. Just look at his POV right now. This man's got 
maybe about half his FOV right now. And none of it is seeing players. He's just tucked up inside. Squad 16 are all around him. I think they, they probably just wait for a TPP to happen. One of the squads starts fighting another squad. You see Desmond pop out and get a, maybe a couple of shots in. You do actually see um, Akai actually getting bumped down. He's, he's fully flushed out as well. RZ, they're gonna get Sumit lost up. And this is Desmond who's sticking around. He's like, hey, whatever, man. I am doing good. Don't need to worry about me. Players going down left, right, and center all around him. And he's still alive. And look at this. We're down to the top six squads. We have uh, squad number nine, who's on the uh, far left-hand side. We're going prone. They're going to look to charge up. They need to worry about Sahil as well. Rahul gets knocked down by Deadly on the far side. The players are all around. And Bacha is going to go for the spray. He's going to finally take down all the players. But he's going to get shot in the back. Ay, ay, ay. He's going to get... looks like a snake. So, like, three, one proning. And now, look at the end. Yep. We have a squad number 5 up against squad 13, squad 7, and one player, Desmond, still alive. Desmond is oh, he's done fall. now. He's done. I mean, that was a decent effort, but maybe not enough. And now Frost being spotted. Shots coming in that direction. Frost barely manages to hold on, but a beautiful spray there with the DP. Prativ manages to find one and immediate flashback onto Mob. And we're down to the top 7. Chances for squad number seven dwindling low. Four Harsh. three does get knocked. Squad number five have. Uh, yeah, that's a three. four. What is it? It's a four. four yeah, three. it's a four v three. We're down to the top two. Uh, Frost does get knocked down by Deadly. And yeah, bye bye. Wishu is gonna be able to clean that up. Deadly is just sitting in the middle of all of these guys. And Pixel Harsh is gonna find one. He's spotted though by Wishu. Wishu quick pre fires through. Uh, not, doesn't seem to find much though. But his teammate is gonna get flushed right now. Which is being spotted. He's taking damage now. Blue damage coming in as well. He will get knocked down. And just like that. Prajwa. Squad number he five. They get dinner. cleaned up. And yeah. Prajeev there at the end. Cool as a kid. But didn't really get involved too much in that entire fight. Uh, it was most of his teammates doing the work. But uh, he does pop in at the right time there for that uh, Killing blow to secure yeah, the chicken gets dinner. Five kills also fires, ten, ten kills for pixel. Yeah, ten kills uh, chicken dinner kills for secured. GLT. Oh yeah, fifteen kills for GLT. Uh, Is there still no? So no, seventeen. Nah. 18, eighteen. You need you need eighteen, 18 to, tie. to tie. No, actually overtake. If you've got eighteen. Uh, you will tie because the position points are still higher than kill points. Yeah. No. Okay. So there's an eight point difference, right? So you need to have eight kills more than the first position. Eight or more. Because if it is eight, you tie, but then you overtake because you have more kills. So uh, the first and second pretty uh, solid. I think uh, squad number five though, who's sitting up at seven kills are gonna move up. And squad number six, RZ, maybe, just maybe they make their way into that top four. We'll never really uh, no, until we have a look at that scorecard, we'll take a quick commercial break. We will be back with the scorers here for Group F as we get ready and jump into uh, Group G, which will be the final game for today. Big shout out to all the viewers who tuned in. It's been an amazing day of PUBG Mobile action. Thank you so much for joining us today. We have lots more action coming your way throughout the week. This is Shades there as well as Flash. See you folks in just a bit.
Boys and girls, welcome to the final game for today. Day two of minor number six, ILG Cup season three, PUBG Mobile. I'm Shade Slayer. Joining me is Flash. As uh, we quickly jump into the flight pass, Johnny, take it away. Yeah, we're going to see this time we're moving from northwest from Zarki side towards Lipoka. South Island becomes accessible because the flight is quite towards Lipoka, Milta Power. You can drop towards Milta, take that uh, vehicles and move towards Novo. Mm -hmm. Might not be that fast to move towards military base because you hardly get a 1-2 vehicles. And if a lot of team contest that, then it's going to be really tough. But a lot of teams are going to go North George, they're going to go South George, they're going to go Containers, Raw Sox, School, Pochinki, Farm, Shelter, Yasnaya, Severny. 
so it's going to be a big spread out they're not going to have early fights it looks like three squads are making their way towards either a hospital or south george and it does not look like anyone is going towards containers as of now yeah uh, before we jump into the uh, game itself big shout out to all the viewers who are tuning in it's been a pretty crazy day lots of team x fans out there they had an absolutely amazing performance 27 killed chicken dinner earlier today don't forget to check out the ward if you missed that match up but continue to show our love for a lot more games that will be coming your way and if you guys are coming to our stream for the first time please do like and subscribe because we do only uh, so much of tournament content and yeah. you can keep watching so yeah much. we do five days of pubg mobile right so uh, there's a lot of uh, pubg mobile esports action that you can catch here in this channel so don't forget to show some love hit that like button hit that subscribe button so that we can keep bringing you some amazing uh, Esports content as I say that let's jump straight into this game right here. We have GE as well as Dynasty who have both dropped at Yathnaya not too far away from each other's position And it also looks like we are going to have a battle at Lipoka this time squad number 8 and squad number 7 uh, 17 are next to each other Mark 50, he picks up a mini, he gets the level 1 helmet with the backpack and looks like there's already a knock in. And now the fight is brewing, two people down, they've already flushed Shanks down and ghastly, he needs the res. Stark Leon and Mark 50, the only two people alive, but looks like Mark 50 is turning his tail and running. Ghastly is out. Yeah, I think they're going to uh, cut their losses and say, hey, we lost one, we lost two players. There's no real reason why should we should be losing oh, more. Mark but Mark's getting shot. getting shot at. Oh no. That's probably going to be the chase on. Squad number eight is Washu is in fact like, hey, where are you running, man? We're going for this. Tap, 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 tap. He's going for the uh, taps there with that uh, M16. But Mark down to half HP. He's going to make his way up the hill. He's got a tree to work with and he's unfortunately having to fall back and take this fight. What does he have? Iron Sight Mini? Iron Sight Mini. Oh my god, that's gonna need some magical shots. There's Major long Alpha range. also has come next to him. Major Alpha, he's taking that ridge nearby and Major Alpha it, might want to push another. No, yeah, look at Mark. Mark's like, yeah, I'm gonna try this. No, no, not gonna happen. And uh, with that, the knock comes through. They will clean up onto Mark as well. Actually, they still haven't. They have left him behind. I think they're going to probably use him as bait. Uh, we will eventually have Alpha who uh, does, if, um, I think, tap, tap, tap. I don't think he sees him. Uh, eventually, yeah, he will be uh, able to find that flush in. And that is going to be three kills going the way of uh, squad number eight. That is Team Psych. And they're off to a pretty hot start here in Group F, which is the final qualifier here for today. Johnny? Yeah, it looks like squad number 21 are now heading towards Military Island, though the circle is not even there. Uh, let's see, they still have three minutes to loot, but I don't think would that be enough for them to going in so late either towards Novo or Military, and you don't even know if any other team has gone, so you, yeah. it could be a death trap as well. We as spectators know there's no one there, but... I mean, in situations like this, I think it is good that you go for that early rotate through. You don't really want to leave things too late but uh, i think we're gonna uh, watch another fight brewing here we have ge forcing their way through four eyes is pretty much the last man alive he's in the room he's gonna go on full spray through and he does get the first knock in with the micro uzi will he go for the flush i'm sure he wants to another player is really really low he's trying to get out of the window but he gets caught in the ledge oh no 10 out of 10 for attempt but unfortunately if he makes it through that window there, I think he's done just about enough. Maybe has got that reset. Uh, unfortunately, you don't get the uh, HP markers as well for your enemy. So he, there was no way he could have known that his opponent was solo. Else he had to just get maybe a couple of bullets in with that micro Uzi and he would have found that kill. Instead, it's going to be the first man down. Squad 16 and 11 are also pretty much set to take this engage right here, Johnny. Yeah, squad number 16, PSY, and squad number 11. Now, this is going to be battle of... Uh, this is the Pochinki battle Pochinki that battle, is coming yeah. up. And we've seen a battle or two. Uh, 
who's going to be the king of Pochi? Over the days. Yeah, that, I mean, that is the question we want the answer for. That is the question you want to be the answer. So, I I, I mean, I've, it's been a long time I've played PUBG Mobile, but you know what was the most interesting thing about PUBG Mobile? Is that flight path. When you're sitting in the flight and you hear all talk. Yeah. Come on, Pochinki! Dumb hai to aaja po chinki. Hey, 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 and you have these t-shirts being printed as well, right? Like drink, sleep, po chinki, repeat, and things like that. It's just so hype. <laughs> I think we already have. Do we have no? Actually, Venom's down. Yeah, from Venom's squad number sixteen. Down, yeah. He's uh, been taken down, and we have one of the players from Inferno, RS01, who's taken a small tag there in as well. The rest of uh, the teammates, I think, are moving into position. Kira's, I think, moving into that same building. Uh, but very early on, looking at the kind of armor weapons that these guys are working with. Oh, Aryan is also knocked now. And looks like squad number 16 are Ooh, getting flushed out by Inferno. Yeah. So, side right now, decision time. I think right now, you don't really look at taking this fight. You back away, move to the edge of uh, Purchinki and maybe find a vehicle and move out reposition find another place loot away uh, this sticking around right now in Puchinki almost certainly means elimination unless they pretty much find the fight of their lives and uh, they're going for that high percentage play uh, problem is i don't think uh, right now squad number 11 sees this there's a small window of opportunity where they can catch maybe one or maybe both on their transit out but i don't think they're gonna be able to uh, find them just about uh, as they make their way through church and I think they're fine out here at church they can hang around you've got the uh, roof right there you've got nice cover and maybe you find those isolated fights where you can maybe knock one or two and then all of a sudden it's a fight that squad 16 can take yes indeed All right, and let's talk a little bit about the circle uh, moving ahead. The circle has revealed itself. Yeah, and it's going no, to be no, absolute no surprises for people who, tuned in. people who have tuned in the last few days. That has almost always been a 9 out of 10 Gatka circle. We've seen this circle, the first phase circle, I think 80% of our Erangel games. And uh, this is going to be no different. Uh, Pretty much 50% of the server already inside. A couple of teams up at Primosk. The rest of the teams are pretty spread out, except again, 16 and 11 who are at Pochinki. Uh, with that, that big clutter towards the eastern side, we have 19, 18, 17, all right next to each other. And that looks like a fighting that is about to break out. I see that's uh, our god Havoc and rest. The squad number 18. Yeah, let's move over. Squad number 18 and squad number 19. Both these guys. Chasing each other. Yeah, they're, they're, they're in fact running parallel to each other. I don't know if they've spotted each other out though, but uh, they are very close enough to uh, maybe take a couple of shots at each other. I don't see either of these squads actually stopping and taking this full-fledged duel, but... Uh, I think there was a drop going off on that far right hand side and squad 19 is gonna be like you know what this is probably uh, not a fight we want to take right now instead go for those drops again the dynamics of how the airdrop works uh, very different in uh, this tournament compared to the other tournaments uh, especially during the qualifier games we see so less number of squads actually go for the airdrop primarily because top four moves through you have 16 17 teams in the server one small mistake and you don't get to make it to that semi-final so there's very small margin for error and most of these squads don't really want to get into that position make that slight misstep which gets them eliminated and rightfully so which is why we see i think close to about 60 percent of the uh, airdrops that we have seen haven't actually been touched at all maybe the final few circles you have ones that drop right onto your lap right you're like hey Thank you so much. Even in the early game, if you've set up in a compound and the airdrop comes through, there's no one nearby, well and good. You take it, does give you a good opportunity. But if not, we don't see those squads venturing out too aggressively to look and find that action as 
Let's move over. Let's look at what other squads we see. Most of the squads already having rotated through. They're all inside. And look at squad number 21, who's sitting right now in military base. Very late in. They're going to be one of the, I think, the last few teams to make it into the circle. Absolutely pushing the amount of time that they can loot. But uh, they've delayed it so much that there's actually no one in vicinity. They can just move out through the bridge, walk around free as a bird, not really get shot at and have pretty decent loot as well. That's 10 band. Actually, not that great. I would have expected there to be a little more first aids to work with. One first aid, 10 bandages, one uh, med kit. We have five boosters. So, squad 21, uh, that is LLT Esports Official. I'm going to be... Uh, slowly working their way into this uh, zone what are you seeing with squad 18 johnny yeah squad number 18 they've taken a compound over there and that's quite an interesting compound which a lot of teams like to contest especially if it's a gatka circle mm -hmm. so uh they're, they're going to be under hot fire because there's a mountain next to them right on top there's a mountain behind them so you can literally get fired from three different angles and talking about airdrops landing in your lap there's one coming straight the way of uh, squad number 14 that is team alpha pack and it's gonna be an aug extended quick draw level 3 helmet level 3 west uh, 556 and the med kit so pretty decent loot uh, more importantly fully uncontested out in the open there's absolutely no one in close quarters and ghost is uh, gonna be able to snag up what i believe personally the rifle I like the most. The AUG. Automatic in um, the airdrop. That is the AUG. Oh, squad, squad number 14 nine. have given away their uh, queue because squad number 9 did not know that squad number 14 was next to them. They did shoot over there and now they know that. Oh, there was. So I thought for a second squad number 14 was getting that fully uh, uncontested out in the open. They did get it uncontested, but. Uh, there was squad number nine keeping tabs on their whereabouts. They see the smoke going out, but uh, it's already been looted. So I think squad nine at least has the uh, information game going their way. They know where their opponents are and it's going to be a slow uh, drawn out fight here. I don't see them clashing anytime soon, probably because this center circle. There's no reason to take this fight right now. I think they're going to drag it out and wait till some of your opponents maybe they've got a knock maybe they've gotten a helmet vest out of the way depleted the enemy's uh, healing as well but we quickly move over to another fight that seems to be brewing we have 13 up against squad number 19 our god the entire team moving in aju has a nice angle i think havoc finally did get the spot out but aju is going to continue to uh, third party into this He's got a need in the hand it's gonna have to push it a far range. Saksham pushing through and Aju peeks out to throw that and he almost gets his arm ripped off. Oh, what a beautiful M24 shot by Rex over there. Yeah, Rex finds a knock in onto PK29. And now Aju, he's also been spotted. He tried to go for the nade, almost ends up getting knocked down. He sees Rex at the edge, but they, he knows. That he's just getting baited into go for that peak and he's gonna get taken down. Havoc actually was already over and he's gonna get Aju down. That's a big knock. And now that's gonna give them an opportunity to just straight up go in for this push through. They're coming in guns blazing and Slayer is out in the open. He's trying to find this angle back in. Uh, Aju's gonna definitely go down. The res comes out on the other side, but RK77 and PK29. They've got few options to work with only. Nate being tossed out. RK is so low right Rex now. In good. comes the charge. Rex is thinking about there's the smoke drop. So that it's gonna be a very small percentage play if you actually try to push through the smoke. Time is not of the essence here for uh, our Oh, one. they came to know Slayer is in the house behind them. They did not know Slayer's position at all. Now that they know that there's one more player who is behind them, they can't go for that flush, that push into the triple story building. Yeah, then now they're going to play the percentage game. You don't really want to go rushing in and get blindsided. You know, yes, you have the numbers advantage, but there's no reason to push it right now. You've got the one kill. You slowly bait out the utility player. Oh, 
that need? Is it gonna find one? Yes, it will. Sasha it finds two. It finds two. Let the continent come again. It's gonna find one. And uh, I think PK29 right now, if that probably wasn't for PK29 going down, that might have been an opportunity for Agizar. No, it's gonna go down. There's another need from Havoc. This is the need battle. Kobe's in the house. PUBG Mobile just became NBA 2019. Arcade 77. Who's coming over? Who's gonna go for the res? Only time will tell. Is this the opportunity for our god to push in for the finish? We have Slayer all alone. He's thinking, do I go for this heroic play? He is. He's like, yeah, now or never, but he gets spotted on his way in our god. Decisions, decisions, decisions. Do you continue to toss needs or do you move in for the finish, Johnny? He's the only person alive. I would tuck my tail and run from there. Uh, yeah, you. I think there's. You just get the reses out. You run, right? I mean, there's very less possibility that you actually qualify if you don't have teammates, especially since there's still 16 squads alive in the server. So I think you take your chances here. Go for those reses. Numbers mean a lot. And there's a Molotov coming in as well. Two players have actually already gone down. RK77 is bleeding out quickly, and the Slayer. He's not even in the same building. He needs to get out, but he's surrounded by a cloud of smoke. And right now he's thinking, hey, what do I do? Drop a few smokes is uh, probably gonna be the name of the game here. But a Slayer X, he realistically needs an alternative to get out of here. RK77 eventually will go down. So Slayer X is all alone. 1v4, the charge comes in. Slayer, he's, just he can, like he's either going down or he's going down a hero. So, smokes down one by one. It's through the choke. He's holding the choke. He's possible the error, but he takes so much time to put the error. He's gonna go pro down one. No, only one. He finds two, the he first one knocks. in. He gets two knocks and brings suction down solo. Yeah, he brought suction down solo. Unfortunately, there, uh, that second player, he couldn't instant continue that spray pattern, right? Almost makes that heroic play happen, but uh, yeah, he's got. Unfortunately, they don't take any uh, casualties with them, and our god are gonna walk away with four kills move over to team mym right now squad number 10 unstoppable squad it's not the mym that we usually see team mayhem this is another squad uh go, happen to go by uh, a very similar tag uh team number six is drago alpha let's move over to uh drago demo and see what they're up to johnny yeah this spot is squad number 20 and you can see the vehicle coming out you can see bunny he is aligning the vehicle for his team to move out from there. But Drago Demo, he's not going to fire. He does not want to take that risk because he is alone. He, there are three people. What if that team pulls up right in front of them? And it's quite a lot of distance to cover with that 4x on that DP. Indeed it is. And uh, squad number 16. Oh, Drago. Oh, there's Pushing shots fire. fired. Yeah, he's going to go ahead, pull the trigger there. But with that... I think he's kind of given away the gig there. Squad number, squad number 12. 12. <laughs> that random buggy just running through. Yeah, he's, he's, they're, 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 they're like, yeah. Hello. The dust here moving through. They're like, don't mind us. We're just driving away. Uh, Flame OP ends up taking a lot of shots though. But now, they're going to turn back and continue oh, raining fire. They're going to go charging through. And I think this is the push coming through. Squad number 12. They've I, they've got one player knocked down. Pranch you. And they're going to look to go for the flush. They do have the high ground advantage right now, do squad they're, number six. They're pushing in. They're pushing in. They're going for that. They're going for, but they're going straight into Anand. Anand's got a wide open angle to hit, but he's gonna go for the reload. The absolute worst timing on that is gonna allow the entirety of squad number six to collapse in right now with this one is the problem. Dump. He's not parked the vehicle properly. Yeah. Entering into that area is gonna be difficult. It's very hard. You've got the broken compound walls as well to play around with, but Satan is like, Whatever, man. We go in right here, right now. First player down, and demo lines up the nade. The nade to the far side. He does see Saint No P on the far side. Long range nade is good. Saint No P hits the deck, and more Molotovs being tossed towards the left side there by Anand. Gonna go for that quick pre fire through. It's a little bit late. They're gonna push in. They know the reload's coming through, but he gets the first off. Regardless, and they are down. Squad number six holds on for for a bit but eventually they succumb down to squad 12 squad number six i, I think at the end there 
they just got a little too greedy there. They saw that they got the knock and they decided, hey, it's the perfect time to push. We gotta go right here, right now. Two players knocked down. This is our opportunity. But they eventually end up filing in one by one straight into the open arms. And squad number 12, Dark Souls, hold on. <coughs> and they move on. But it looks like squad number 11 have got sound cues about Dark Souls. And they literally brought the weaker form that drop area right up until them. So I don't know if they're wanting to go take that fight. And it looks like it might be the cause. Oh, let's, let's look back at this. Squad number nine. One player is knocked down. He will get flushed back out by the entirety of squad 10. But there's two more players here. We have Ice Rez. Ice Ray. I guess that's how you pronounce that. But him as well as Yug from Team Ice are pretty much sandwiched between squad 8 and squad 10. I'm not really sure how they're going to be... Uh, working their way out of this precarious position that they are in. Uh, I don't see how squad 8 would want to just straight up ignore 9 and take this duel with 10. So, uh, they've got no option here. They've got to take this fight one after the other. They've got a decent ridge that they're working with right now. Uh, is we and I think so. It's just going to be a question. Oh, Yuk though finds a knock that is huge. It may be an opportunity for Ice to actually push in. They spot out Shrider as well. Uh, already shots coming in that direction. But he's just playing peekaboo right now. He's just drawing the attention while Washu gets rezzed. He gets the first aid off. He probably pops some boosters in as well. And Re is giving up his position right now. In and the meanwhile, it also looked like squad number 11 pushed onto uh, Dark Souls again. And they got wiped out. Yeah, I mean, PUBG is a game where you get absolutely no breaks, right? It's fight after fight after fight. You've always got to be fight ready. And the game is pretty punishing in the sense that if you don't recover fast with that few seconds that you have and get that proper repositioning again, you're just going to be fodder for the next team that comes <laughs> by the, or the team after. The best part is they recovered and they took down the next quarter so that, they, that came right at them. So, uh, right now, we are going to keep our eyes here up at squad 9 versus squad number 8. Squad 10 is just sitting back and is like, hey, you can take all the fights you want. We're not really going to uh, worry too much about this now. We'll take on the winner of this. Uh, as we look over, we have LLT, who's uh, gotten himself... A UAZ, oh, and they're making their way towards straight, squad 20. Straight towards squad number 20. Absolutely worst possible place to actually run into a rock. Would have been uh, pretty dangerous if that entire rain of bullets came in in their direction. But as of now, they've got a building on one side and they've got a beautiful ridge on the other side. And uh, they're probably going to set up shop here, uh, feel out the rest of uh, the areas in and around and then probably take it as uh, the next circle. Uh, they're probably going to wait here till the next circle reveals itself. They are at the perimeter and they can pretty much expect squads coming in their direction. Yes, indeed. Squad number 21 secured themselves with a nice rich cover. They are in the circle as well. But look at that clutter over there. Ooh, Washu gets knocked down. And PSY, they've actually gone for that long rotate around and they're taking the fight up against squad number 10. We have Shrider looking for the squad. And inside the building, we have squad number 10. We have MYM spawn. He's actually given up his uh, position there towards that uh, first floor and uh, is looking to reposition back out. Maybe even move out into the open, get, get a nice little spot to get TVP and get some info out on the whereabouts of some of these players of uh, PSY. But PSY, they're so well spread out right now. They don't really need to full commit to this. And they flushed out the squad number 9 as well over there. Yeah. So, uh, they can pretty much move around. They need to worry about squad number 14 as well, who's slowly uh, creeped up into center circle as we speak. So, they're right up behind their heels. And th there may be an opportunity of TPP as well. But it is, in fact, squad number 8 that gets to see the airdrop go down. And it's right up next to them. They have vehicles as well, a couple of Dacias. I think you pick this up, go for that hero play. It, I mean, you've played it slow, nice and easy, 33 players alive. I think now is the opportunity where, especially when a drop falls into your lap this close, 
I think you seize that opportunity. You take that risk play even if you have to. But I think squad number 14 is already firing at them. Strider's thinking, hey, should we go? Should we not go? Should I just park? Should I get out? And get out is the answer. He immediately hits the deck. And yeah, so much for taking the opportunity when it presents itself. You're going to have to take a defensive position now. And uh, TGBA, they've got the high ground advantage. Uh, question is, do you still drop the smokes and... Try and make your way towards that airdrop. Maybe you don't. Maybe you just stand and kill them all. Apollo is down. The first knock comes in for PSY. Washu finding that. And squad number 17 is also pushing through behind. They're gonna get blown up though. TGB Fury finds that. He's like, what? So much for third party. They almost got fourth party there with another squad driving through. And now this small window of opportunity. They're like, yeah, let's go. Let's go. Let's go for the drop. It's right here, right now. We got to make it in. We got to go for this. And what is, in fact, in the drop? It is an AUG. Wait, what, was this the AUG that dropped oh, earlier? Yeah. <laughs> it finally comes into play. Two zones later. Squad number 20 is also come into this action. But they've come straight into squad number 14. They're mowing them all down. One down, two down. Third guy's like, nope. Bye bye. I'm heading off. Dark Hunter has got it all to do now. A ghost. Oh, the nade's coming in. Yeah, the nade's coming in. The nade's got to be close. Is it slam dunk? Hello? The angle no, looks good though, close. but I don't think it's making the distance. Yeah, Dark is take, very close. Dark it takes a really little close. bit of chip damage, but he needs to push and he needs to push now on the far side. Oh, look at this health. Look at Dark Hunter's health. One nade can get all of three. Yeah, there's a nade. The nade's being tossed in. Is it good? It's gonna be close. It's gonna be close. We keep our eyes on the scorecard. It is. It gets one. Dark Hunter, it is it. He's down. Yeah. They're all down. Bye bye. Good. Slam dunk. NBA title. Give it to him already. And he's gonna find it. Meanwhile, squad number eight. They were also looking at. I think there's a grand total of two squads that were heading in that direction. Uh, squad number 10 also is still holding that building. They have not moved. They've just been sitting there like. People are coming and going. We're just gonna stay calm. We don't really need to commit to any fight right now. We let them all kill each other out and when it's five, when the circle eventually there's no other option and it is reached that stage right now. They're not in the circle. They've got a long, long distance to go, but they know their squad number eight and their squad number 14 both gatekeeping them. So they've got to find those skills. If they don't find them anytime soon, they're just gonna have to get out and leave regardless and make that Hail Mary play. And those are the kind of plays that eventually are going to cost you titles, cost you qualification spots. Uh, look over. At, I want to actually get an aerial view of uh, the current uh, position. There's squad 8, there's squad 10 there, there's squad 12. Uh, squad number 21, I think, is uh, getting pushed on by uh, TGB Fury, who is slowly but surely crawling up, crawling up. is like in the middle of absolutely nowhere. Squad number 8. They just drive by train out of them. I, I just looking at the minimap like, hey, squad number eight, where are they coming from? They just charge in. They find the kill and they've got lots to look out for. No. Squad number 16 is up as well on top of the hill. Squad eight right now have split up 2-2. Two, two, and I think this is a decent pincer play onto Goderos. I believe that that's how you pronounce the name. Goderos. As the charge comes through from Strider and they get the clean up. Easy clean up there, but the zone's pushing in and it's pushing in fast. They need to keep going. There's a lot more squads ahead of them and Strider barely makes it into the circle and will be able to get those first aids off. What's happening on your side, John? Yes, squad number 12 still looking strong. Hope is still alive for Dark. And now they're getting those nades in. And that nade hits Spawn. Spawn is down. Spawn gets taken, cleaned up by Washu as well. Spawn has been the one who has been providing a lot of kills for his team over there. Indeed. Vashu it. gets Kingo knocked, but Priyanshu kills Vashu over there. So the trades are happening. Two squad. Actually, it's a three-way fight that's happening. Yeah, we have four squads are like 15 players. So that's a 4v4v4v3 four v four v four v situation right now. And we, we're looking at our god who are four strong, who've right now backs against the circle they need to move high ground 
and I think right now maybe squad number 21 it's going to be two separate duels right squad number 12 I think they're in the worst possible spot they can be easily taken down by 8 as well as 21 Argot as they move up the hill unfortunately there is LLT who's moving into position and CV actually gets the knock on to Havoc and they've given away the position. Two Molotovs being tossed in that direction. LNT has a beautiful angle here. He's gonna find Pranchu. Pranchu's down. He just got separated from the rest of the pack. There were no smokes, no, no cover, no nothing. And at the backside, there's a lot of kills to be had as well. Not score down. He can convert on the CC squares for 12 all up in front. But they're just so scared right now to make that rotate. They Anna's have the smokes. Gone. They have the smokes. They can make that rotate. It was, I think, maybe a question of just trying, jumping the gun a bit when that first player runs across without any smoke cover. But now, LLT has left himself a spot. He's just running out of the open. He's going to find one and he needs more. Anand as well. Oh, he's going to get shot from the side. He got TPP'd. Oh, no. Third party from the side. Strider finds it. And now, Munda. Blue zone. He's like, nope, nope, nope. I just got to run. I just got to run. No way to go. In long range. Watch. was like, where are you going, brother? I've got you in my sights. Down he goes, and we're down to the top two situation. Washu goes down, so does Anand. Things looking pretty grim here. Flame OP. Yeah, it didn't really matter. Flame OP there, all alone there at the end. Uh, numbers eventually favor Sai. Big shout, big props to them though. Eleven we were talking, yeah, talking about double digit kills and we have had two in the same day yeah today today has been action packed people have come out guns blazing and uh, we've seen kills left right and center uh, congratulations to sai who's gonna take the chicken dinner with 11 uh, 24, 24 kills. kills very close to team x team x 27 so uh they still i think i think that is an all-time ilg season three record 27 kill chicken dinner uh second position we have dark they had a very strong showing as well they're going to complete up with nine kills three kills on uh, uh, what is that squad I, I i didn't think they have a tag so, yeah, Argon, I think top four have uh, secured their place yeah no one our god with the uh, six kills definitely has secured that fourth position this will be your top four moving on to that semi-finals on Thursday. Big shout out to all the sponsors. Title sponsor, Alien Web, powered by Logitech G. Associate sponsors, Next Day Multimedia and Kaspersky. JP partner, Galax, energy drink partner, Monster Energy. Big shout out to all the viewers who tuned in as well. We've had an absolute cracker of day two here in minor number six of IG Cup season with PUBG Mobile. This is Shade Slayer as well as Flash signing off. Hope you enjoyed the streams today. See you folks tomorrow at 6 p.m. Until then, goodbye and good night.